Hi, I'm Monica Bay. We're at the University of Florida at a fantastic program on e-discovery. I'm here with Martin O'Day. Did I pronounce that right? Yes, thank you. Oh, great. And you're not an alumni, but you're very active with, with the school. Absolutely, yes, we are. And tell us a little bit about your career at Newix and, and what, what got you into e-discovery. And I'd love you to give advice to the students on how learning about e-discovery and becoming comfortable with it can help their career. Absolutely. So I graduated in 1990, and I was a litigation attorney in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So that was exciting. So seeing how actually you know the system works, doing motion call and you know, going through all the rigmarole for a few years. Uh, I also had a serious technology background. You know, and I where really, did you get that? Uh, pretty much on my own. Oh, good for you. You know, we always had that. I had a programming background, and so just like a lot of people, uh, I think a lot like uh, what Craig was describing. You know, he liked tinkering and things like that. So working in electronics and working with uh, all the computers that were coming out at the time. Mm -hmm. So. It fascinated me. Yeah, Craig and Ball did an amazing uh, 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 keynote address. Oh, absolutely, yeah. and especially yeah. telling yeah. about his history. It's always nice to see that, you know, we're not alone, right? Oh, and, yes. Uh, oh, yes. Um, oh, yes. But so whenever we get in, I, I got into, uh, I also did, uh, you know, different master's programs mm -hmm. where I got into banking. I was a banking attorney wow. and uh, international licensing attorney for uh -huh. technology. Uh -huh. So I was working overseas. I was in Luxembourg. And uh, oh. between that, we had a lot of discussions. That's where a lot of things were coming about with what to do with uh, the new, these new communications that were coming about. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the litigation that we get involved in, I seemed to be the only person who was thinking about, well, I have an email account. You know, back then it was like we had the Prodigy and the CompuServe, and these were possibly responsive and things now, like that. Now one of the big issues that we're facing right now mm -hmm. is the clash between cybersecurity and privacy mm -hmm. and that comes up a lot and I've, I've, I know we've been to a lot of conferences where some of the judges talk about the challenges of that for e-discovery. Yes. Um, without going too far down that trail, did that, having your knowledge there and having that experience, did that help you get your job at Newix? Absolutely. Because and tell that's us what, about your job at Newix. That's what got me in all into this because I, discussing it, I had that overlap between my legal skills and the technology skills. Mm -hmm. And so whenever we get into any type of discussions, I was doing the translations between our attorneys or corporations and the banks and you know the information that was going. So um, within that, that's what got me to Newix because I... I did my first collection on one of these matters back in 1994. Wow. It was right before you know, it was right before Windows 95 came out. Yes. And it was on different matters where we needed the financials mm -hmm. and I said, "Well, you know, you can't just print those out." Yeah. <laughs> and so all the other yeah. attorneys were, "We'll just print them out, you know, it's it's fine, it's a record." I said, "Well, probably the dates and the metadata mattered." So I was already thinking like that back then because of that foundation I had. And how long have you uh, been with Newix now? So Newix, I started four years ago, but I was a client with Newix from before oh. because we had a whole bunch of these overseas matters with the safe you know, privacy, the yep. safe harbor issues. And that's how I was uh, introduced to Newix is because we needed to do some of this early case assessment, collection, and to make our informed decisions on things in Germany and in France. And they had changed their minds. They said, well, you need to do all that here. So, of course, Newix portable, you know how strong it is and how powerful it was. I fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. And then that became my go-to tool. I still use all the tools. We still have oh, all of them. Still, still love them all. Now, I have but, to cut you off because yep. we're running out of time. Okay. But before I let you go, yes. what advice can you give the students who are coming in now on why it's so important to embrace e-discovery and help their career? So more than just e-discovery, how you can embrace that is that we have to be really that lateral thinking, mm -hmm. right? Is that all of that, uh, like as Edward de Bono wrote his book, Lateral Thinking, I'm a big student of that, is that there's many of these different components that will affect everything that we do. And we have to be situationally aware as to what's going on. Because just because people have done things a certain way doesn't mean that, you know, it's, it's not going to change. And we have many stories on that. but. Uh, embracing any of, not just for technology's sake or not just for change's sake, 
because a lot of what's come about in that has brought me back to certain roots, right? I saw I use my attorney skills, but now I've enhanced those, and at the same time, I've kind of come back to the roots in computer. That's a, so perfect, a perfect, thing. perfect way to do it. So encourage the students. Don't be afraid of e-discovery. Absolutely it can not. absolutely help your career. I'm Monica Bay. Thanks for watching.